So hi everyone. Till now we have discussed different error detection methods such as CRC, LRC, and VRC. The checksum is also one of the error detection methods. In this session, we are going to discuss what is checksum and we will also see what is error correction. So let's start. In the checksum method, at the sender side, these four steps will be performed. So in the first step, the data which is to be sent, it will be divided into segments. After divided the data into segments, those segment will be added using the binary addition. After performing the binary addition, the answer will be complemented using the once complement and uh, the checksum segment and the data segment will be sent together to the receiver. Now at the receiver side, these two steps will be followed. So all the segments that are received means the data segment and the checksum segment will be added at the receiver side. After adding those segments, receiver will perform the once complement. And after performing the once complement, if the result is zero, means that the received data has no error, but if the result is non-zero, means the received data has some errors. So let's try to understand with an example so that you have clear idea. As you can see on the screen, this is the data which is to be sent. And the total length of the data is 28 bits. We have just discussed that uh, before sending the data, the sender will perform four steps. So let's perform these four steps one by one. In the first step, the sender will divide this data into segments. And the size of the segment is totally dependent on the sender. So the size of the segment varies as the sender varies. Suppose right now the sender is dividing this data into four segments. So if you divide 28 bits by four, you can have each segment of seven bits, right? So this is segment number one, this is segment number two, this is segment number 3 and this is segment number 4. After dividing the data into segment, the first step is completed. In the second step, these segments will be added using the binary addition. So let's perform the second step. So to perform the binary addition, this segment will be arranged in such manner. So you can see that this is the segment 1, 2, 3 and 4 are arranged in this manner because in the second step the sender has to perform the binary addition. So let's do the binary addition. 1 plus 1 will be 0, carry will be generated, 1 plus 1 again 0, carry will be generated, 1 plus 1 0, carry will be generated, 1 1, 1 plus 1, 0 plus 1, 1 and carry will be generated and 1. So the second step is completed. This is the answer of the second step. In the third step, the sender will perform one's complement to the answer of the binary addition. So let's perform the one's complement. So if you perform the one's complement, you will get 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1. 1. So right now the sender has 4 data segment and 1 checksum segment. So sender will send this 4 data segment along with this checksum segment to the receiver. So you can see that the 4 data segment 1, 2, 3 and 4 along with the checksum segment are being sent to the receiver. Now you have to notice 
the size of the actual data and the data which is in the transmission right now so the size of the actual data was 28 bit but right now the data which is in the transmission is increased to 35 bits right now the receiver will receive this stream of the data and it will divide this data into segments and it will arrange this segment in the same manner as the sender did so you can see that there are four segments and there is one checksum segment which is arranged in the same manner as the sender did and the receiver will also perform the same steps as the sender performed so after arranging this data into segments the receiver will perform the binary addition so let's perform the binary addition 1 plus 1 0 plus 1 1 carry will be generated 1 plus 1 0 plus 1 1 1 plus 1 0 plus 1 1 then again 1 1 1 plus 1 0 plus 1 1 and 1 and after performing the binary addition the answer will be complemented using the ones complement so let's perform the ones complement and you will get all the zeros so at the receiver side after performing the ones complement if you are getting all the zeros means that the data is received successfully and there is no error and if the answer is non-zero means there is error let's see the example that contains error so that you can understand we are going to see the same example but the only difference is that the channel that we are using between the sender and receiver has errors so you know that in the checksum method the sender will perform four steps in the first step the data which is to be sent will be divided into segment and the length of the segment is totally dependent on the sender so right now we are dividing the data into four segment and the size of the data is 28 bits so each segment will be of 7 bits okay this is the same example that we just saw so this is segment 1 this is segment 2 segment 3 and segment 4 so the first step is completed in the second step the sender will arrange this segment in this manner so this is segment 1 this is segment 2 3 and 4 so the segment is arranged in this manner because in the second step we will perform the binary addition so let's perform the binary addition 1 plus 1 0 carry will be generated 0 0 1 1 1 and 1 so the second step is over in the third step the sender will perform the once complement to the answer of the binary addition so let's perform the once complement you will get 0 0 0 0 and 1 1 1 in the fourth step the sender will send this four data segment along with this checksum segment to the receiver so you can see there are bits which are being transmitted and there are four data segments and one checksum segment but because of the error in this channel this bit is changed you can see that this is segment 1 this is segment 2 this is segment 3 and segment 4 so in the third segment the second bit was 1 but due to the noise in the channel the second bit is changed and it is changed to 0 so the receiver will receive the stream of bits and it will arrange these segments in the same manner as the sender did and after arranging this segment in this manner the receiver will perform the binary addition so let's perform the binary addition 1 plus 1 0 plus 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 
वन प्लस वन प्लस वन वन कैरी विल बी जनरेटेड वन प्लस वन जीरो प्लस वन वन कैरी विल बी जनरेटेड वन प्लस वन जीरो प्लस वन जीरो वन एंड अगेन जीरो एंड द कैरी विल बी जनरेटेड वन 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 प्लस वन जीरो एंड वन Now result will perform once complement to the answer of the binary addition, and it will get zero one zero zero one zero zero. And you can see this number is non-zero. And if the number is non-zero, means that the received data has error. Right? Now let's discuss the error correction. There are two types of error correction: the backward error correction and the forward error correction. Now, what is the meaning of backward error correction? Suppose there are two devices A and B, and A has sent some data, and B has received that data, and after checking that data, B found that the data has error. So B will request the sender that the received data has error and please send the data again. And uh, what is the forward error correction? Like suppose the same situation A is sending data to B and uh, the B finds that the received data has error. So B will not request the A to send the data again. but it will find that where is the error in the data and it will correct the data by itself which is called the forward error correction so in the backward error correction the receiver is telling the sender to send the data again but in the forward error correction uh, receiver is finding that there is error in data and it will find the position of error and it will correct the error by itself the example of the forward error correction is the hamming code and the hamming code method is used to detect the error and correct the errors as well so this is it for today's session in tomorrow session we will see what is hamming code and how to find the errors using hamming code and how to correct those errors thank you so much